Company. This is your places call for top of show. Stand by lights 25 and sound 10. Lights 25 and sound 10. And go. Hello. My name is David Furumoto. I am the director for the production of Rashomon, being presented by University Theatre and the UW Madison Department of Theatre and Drama. When you cut right down to it, I think the play is basically about asking the question, what is truth? How do we discern it? The problem in this play is that we have an event that happens. There's been a rape, there's been a murder, and several different people are brought to court to testify about what exactly happened. Each one tells a different story. We have to figure out, okay, which is the real version, which is not. We hear stories about, say, there's a traffic accident or something, and there are three different witnesses, and each witness's account may turn out to be kind of very different from each other. So how do we how do we discern the truth of the matter? And I think even now, with all of these events that are going on around us, um, it's an interesting thing. For actors involved in the production, there are marvelous opportunities for just these very uh, amazing characters that, are that occur. For example, the actors who are playing the wife, the husband, and the bandit get to go through these different versions of the story and the persona of these characters changes with each of these stories. So the actors in those roles get a wonderful workout. The other actors that are what I'll call the, my gate people, which consists of the priest, the woodcutter, and the wig maker. The intensity of those characters is, is important because this is where we try to sift through all of these different stories and find out what the truth of what happened. They're very emotional and they're very uh, focused on trying to, to discover what the truth is. This is a story that is set in Japan with my background in traditional Japanese theater, there are elements of those traditional theater forms which will appear in this production. There are definitely things that the actors are having to learn as far as movement, and even in some cases, the delivery of the voice. That's another thing that the actors involved in this production are <laughs> getting a uh, introduction to. The film, the classic film that Kurosawa made, uh, was based on a short story by a very famous short story writer in Japan, Ryunosuke Akutagawa. When you compare the original short story to the film version, Kurosawa definitely adapted it, changed it, and the, the actual film version ends kind of more on an upbeat note. Uh, the original short story didn't quite end on a happy happy ending, so to speak. And with the Kurosawa film, which the play is basically an uh, English version of, sort of ends with this hopeful note about humanity in general. So that's another important thing that I think should come out of this play. Even at the worst, when there's all this turmoil going on, we must never lose sight of the fact that <clears throat> there is a good part of of humanity. <laughs>